Hello my friends, Buck Weezer here sitting with you once again, Buck Small Engine DIY on YouTube and today's video is just a short follow up to the one we did last week where we got this Coleman Powermate 5500 generator up and running and uh, we, got, we got it running well, uh, we tested for voltage but some of you were pointed out correctly and I appreciate it that I never actually put it under any load, I didn't load test it. And that was a mess. I think I was just hurrying to get the video done and edit it and upload. Um, so let's just take a minute here, try to simulate some kind of load on this generator, and make sure it actually is putting out and testing good under load. So that's what we're going to do today, and I hope it's helpful to you. And I want to thank you guys for pointing out to me that miss. Uh, let's take care of it right now. So this is my plan. Here's the generator, and we're going to plug in two air compressors. And I think between these two air compressors, we're probably going to put it about 50% load. And let me tell you how I calculate that real quick here. And the formula is watts is going to equal amps times volts. So compressor number one, which is this Husky from Home Depot, that guy right there, he pulls 12 amps times 120 volts is 1440 watts. Compressor number two, that rigid one there, probably also came from Home Depot, he pulls 10.4 amps. So using our formula times 120 volts equals 1248 watts. Okay, follow me that? So running both of these together, would be a load of 2688 watts. So that's just about half. That's just about 50% of the 5500 watt capacity of this generator. So we're going to do that. We'll start it up. Uh, we'll turn these guys on one at a time and see how the generator responds. And while they're running, we'll, we'll te test voltage output as well. So not super scientific, but I think this will simulate pretty much the average kind of use that a generator like this is likely to see. So let's get the generator running and we'll test it out. All right, we've got fuel. We'll open the valve. Put it on a choke. Run.
see that uh, we put on both uh, compressors, which is probably about half the load that the that the generator can handle. It seemed to run pretty good. We lost, we dropped about 10 volts because before we turned them on, we had 120. And we dropped down to about 110, which is not terrible. But I might, I might just adjust this, just a little, this uh, governor spring just a little tighter. I showed you that in the last video. Just to see if while it's under load, we can get it up to you know 115, 120. So let me tighten that spring a little bit, and uh, with the 3/8 wrench, I showed you that in the last video, uh, and then we'll we'll do this test again and see if our voltage output under load is a little bit closer to 120. Again, not sure if you can see this, but tightening this nut right here puts a little more tension on that spring. And the more tension, the, uh, the faster the engine's going to run. All right, so that's that. Um, we'll, uh, we'll fire it up. Both compressors should still run because they're not up to full pressure yet. So uh, they'll run and uh, we'll, we'll check for voltage again under the load of both of these compressors. Okay, I think we accomplished our objective. Uh, so we were with both compressors running, so we got 50% capacity. We had about uh, 115 volts. And I think that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, so I think we did a pretty good job checking it out. The only other thing we could do, and I can't do it right now because I don't have a tachometer but I'd like to you know it says RPM 3600 I'd actually like to test out the RPM of the engine um, but I think I think what we've done is simulated the normal kind of load that a generator like this is likely to see and we've uh, we've shown that it's running pretty good and putting out adequate at least to run these two compressors both at the same time. So I feel pretty good about what we've done, and hopefully you do too. All right, I think I'm going to leave it at that. The generator runs pretty good, doesn't it? Hopefully you were able to see that and experience that, and I think we did a reasonably good job verifying that it's going to operate sufficiently adequately under load. So I want to thank all of those who kept me on my toes and, uh, and uh, reminded me to put it under load. So... Hopefully this has helped you. I appreciate you watching this video and any of my other videos. If you would please comment, like, subscribe, all those things that make the YouTube algorithm think that I'm really cool. I would appreciate that very much. As always, thanks for watching the video. And remember, as I always like to say, only you can put the do in the do-it-yourself. I'll see you next time on our next project. Bye.